So this past weekend, we just celebrated Easter. Good Friday, Easter. And uh, through this season, I've been reading again the account of Jesus leading up to his death, the Garden of Gethsemane, his judgment, his trial, his execution, and him rising again. But what I want to focus on today as a word of encouragement, and just kind of a shot to the arm, hopefully, during this time, is uh, I want to look at the Last Supper. And more specifically, Jesus and something amazing that he does. So I want to read for you from John chapter 13. And uh, you might know this passage really well, but I want to just encourage us again and just draw a few principles and a few ideas out for us tonight. So it says this. It says, It was just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. The evening meal was being served, and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So, and this is the part that I really want to focus on, so he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, A person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet, for his whole body is clean, and you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and that is why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and he returned to the place, to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you, he asked them? You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you that you should do as I have done for you. And I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. And this is what I find amazing. That even just as Jesus is approaching his final days, his final time, he knew full well the weight that he had to carry. Yet he set an example for the disciples then, and he sets an example for us as well, as believers and as disciples of Jesus Christ. He says elsewhere, it's, it's greater to serve than to be served. And I really want to encourage us again, especially as we're in isolation. I know it's different. You can't just go necessarily to a neighbor's house. You can't do some physical acts to help people at this time. But I really challenge you to take this idea to the Lord in prayer. What can I do to wash the feet of the people around me? Maybe it's with our spouses, our husbands, our wives. Maybe with our children. Maybe it's the way that we speak as, as we're on social media or as we're conducting ourselves on Facebook or Zoom or whatever way we're trying to connect with people, when we're in the grocery store, what is a way that we can humble ourselves, serve someone else in a greater way? And I've really been challenged with this idea because for the last couple of weeks, to be completely honest, I've been a little 
self-absorbed, just trying to figure out, just making sure my family is safe and making sure that everything is going all right and we're doing everything that we need to do. But I'm really starting to feel that God is stirring in my heart. What are ways that I can serve others in a greater way? So I want to just encourage you and challenge you with that idea today. It's kind of a simple thought, maybe nothing hugely deep, but I just hope that it just gives us an encouragement to continue to run the race with endurance. And during this time where it's easy to get discouraged or it's easy to uh, focus on what's not going right. But look at Jesus. I mean, what he was about to face was not ideal. Yet he humbled himself and he served. And he set an example and that's what he wants us to do as well. Is to find areas where we can bend ourselves for people. Get out of our mold. He has all authority and all power. Yet he doesn't consider himself equal with God, but yet he came down and he lowered himself to a place that he took on human form and human likeness and became one of us. And his whole life was about serving and showing the heart of God that he loves us beyond what we could ever know. So this week, as you hear this word, as you read through this scripture, As you reflect upon what I just said, allow the Spirit of God to just bring a name, a situation, maybe as I said, maybe a family member who uh, you can serve in an extraordinary way this week. Pray you're blessed. I miss getting together and seeing everybody face to face. But yet I'm so encouraged that we're able to do this and I'm able to just encourage you in maybe this small way this week. So be blessed. Take care.